Hi there everyone, welcome to another Map on a Map update, United States edition. I'm Dee Domingo, MAPS U.S. Program Manager. The last few weeks, we had four food and hygiene packaging events where volunteers came and put together over 1,500 food boxes and 1,500 hygiene kits. After all the hard work of putting them together, we had our first distribution at Castro Valley Unified School District, where we were able to distribute 500 food boxes, 500 twin pack of chickens, 500 blankets and 500 hygiene kits to families in need. I had the opportunity to speak with Nicholas McMaster, Director of Student Services for Castro Valley Unified School District. Here's what he had to say about the distribution and their ongoing efforts to help the families in their community. Hi, my name is Nick McMaster and I am the Director of Student Services for Castro Valley Unified School District. We're so thankful for partnership with MAP and it's been really instrumental in us being able to support our families not only on, a, on an ongoing and consistent basis, but also um, also in the, in the springtime, such as very recently, being able to do a really big distribution. And, and by big, that is to reach a much larger number of families than we do um, compared to, to our ongoing distribution. So we had about 400 families. Families visit us for uh, over the course of, of two hours on a drive-through registration right at the start of our spring break and why that's an incredible thing uh, from how we perceive need is that our our daily meal service being provided from our school district to families pauses because we go we went on a on a seven day seven school day break including two weekends so so 11 11 days with no food support for our families an incredible thing right at the start of a extended time to be able to give families an entire grocery box that that map you know supplied and um you know, whether it's the testimonials that come back from families, uh, expressing their gratitude, talking about how this uh, provided an incredible relief to them, that it helps provide stability to their family. Um, that's, that's one indicator of the impact that it has, but also, you know, if you're there, the, uh, the, the smiles and the sincere thank yous that come from the families as you're providing them these resources is also, also indicative of, of the need that's present. After one year of dealing with the pandemic, families are still trying to get back on their feet. We are so blessed to be able to help them in their time of need. A big thank you to Latter-day Saints Charities, our donors and sponsors. Without your support, we would not be able to do what we do for our communities.